What's up, guys and gals? It's your uh, Cantonese comic kid here with uh, Varangian Vigilante. Sorry, guys, if I. Sorry about uh, no Sarah. Sarah had a uh, slight emergency, so couldn't be here. But she told me to open this uh, this 19 pound box, anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna be opening this massive boy here. Well, hold on, let me make myself bigger so you guys can see how damn big this damn box is. I know people are gonna watch it on the rewind, so that's cool because there's way too many streams going on right now. But yeah, so this is how big the damn box is. So what's in the box? What's yeah, in the let's box? see. Yeah, let's see what's in the box. Let's undo it. They, well, they wrapped it pretty well. They bubble wrapped it pretty well. So a lot of bubble wrap. A lot of bubble wrap. A lot of bubble wrap everywhere. <laughs> bubble As wrap. you know, Italians are very fragile. Yeah. That's, why they, that's why they kept it and switch sides very easy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! This thing is heavy. I mean, I mean, like you said, I think I'll, I'll get codeine muscles by the end of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is how big it is. This, like, I'll, I'll, I'll scoot back a little. This is how. It's going to be a workout. Uh, read 20 pages every day. Yeah. It's going to be a better. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, it's huge. And it's if like there's only yeah, there's only French reviews on this book. I haven't seen no English reviews at all. And the, bu the box is pretty. So I'm gonna probably just keep it in the box. It's gonna, I'm gonna have to keep it in the box because I don't Dynam want to. The Dynamite should be watching now to see how yeah. to make an art book. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, the biggest the Perillo art book was cheap paper, man. Like it was like toilet paper. Yeah, you paper. showed it, and I was yeah. like, I'm happy I didn't pre-order that one. <laughs> yeah. So this is what it looks like. Yeah, John Carter of Mars with Deja Torres. Yeah. Yep. One of the and most beautiful uh, paperback uh, covers yeah. that we ever did. Yeah. Yes. Mm. It's, it's magnificent how Frank Frazetta mm -hmm. made the uh, visuals that stuck with us for uh, yeah. such awesome franchises like yeah, Conan and uh, right. John Carter of Mars. And also Vampirella. Yeah. Uh, and because uh, just the person we talk about. Uh, hold on. I'll, uh, I'll stop the camera real quick and then show but i'm gonna do like specials on it but i'm gonna um, do this talk over me Vivi, real quick so i can shit <laughs> no, so i can move the camera uh, all these characters are from the pulp era from the 20s and 30s uh, yeah. so we got already uh, alliterations and pictures of these characters right. for many many decades Whoop. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, but of course, uh, yeah. Frank Rosetta gave them the op optics that stuck with us today when we think yeah. about these characters. Most likely, we have uh, the pictures of Frank Rosetta in our mind. Yeah. Like this one, Tarzan. Yes. Also, Edgar Rice Burroughs' character, like yeah. uh, John Carpenter from Mars. Yeah. Funny books. This is just. And it's this also, is it's probably also fantastic that it's not only a great right. collection of pictures, of course, Conan the Adventurer. Yeah. But it's also, uh, it probably also tells a great story about uh, Frank's life and his work. Right. Yep. So everything, even Ghost Rider. Yeah, he did also the second issue of Ghost Rider. Yeah. So I didn't know that, so. <laughs> It's funny because uh, this series was just reprinted in German. There's usually, uh, there's currently a lot of Golden Age and early Silver yeah. Age titles that, that are being reprinted now in German. That's a, this is a good one. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I just a it's, it's an anal plug. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, uh, Moon Maid. Yeah. One of my most favorite Frisetta pieces. And uh, the Italians also copied uh, this picture for a exploitation movie. And his movie posters. Many great movie posters. I have to get some of the movies that he did the posters of, uh, some of the more science fiction and horror ones, and mm -hmm. do, a, uh, do some reviews of those uh, next year. Yeah, Robert's going to be mad as hell because I don't got gloves on right now handling this book. Uh, it's a book. It wants, it, it wants to be read. 
And fingerprints oh. are probably the, yeah. the most innocent thing that's going <laughs> to yeah. be on those pictures. Yeah. The two, the two Vampirella covers he's done. There's, of course, the... The German one I got and the American one. But I like the German one better. It's more color in the German one. Yeah, that's one thing uh, that you can't say about the German reprints. Yeah. Uh, that they're cheap. But I usually like the paper that we use here way more. Because yeah. very often we use uh, like cardstock, even for, uh, for cheaper books. Also, the, uh, yeah, the uh, Evil Ernie books that I sent you, like... Yeah. It, it's very tough to make those books in a bad grade because it's... Uh, the, My favorite one, uh, it's so, it's, it's so dur uh, durable. Yeah, so my favorite, my my favorite one of him, uh, his, well, not just Vampirella, but this this is another one of my favorites of his that he's done. Yeah, it's so beautiful. Mhm. Mm and oh, he did the Clint Eastwood, the <laughs> movie poster. Oh yeah, the guy. Yeah. yeah. Well, if people didn't know, that was supposed to be Clint Eastwood. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna end up talking about it anyways. Oh yeah, the Molly Hatchet one that uh. There's nothing. It's yeah, like yeah. it's always good to see uh, Frazetta art. Yeah. It's ghoul queen, I think. Or is it ghoul queen or ghoul maid or? But it's ghoul, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, hold on, I'll find out right now. You were right, yeah. Ghoul, ghoul queen or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's one is so hot, and I love the composition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the way to get uh, Frazetta art, man. The, yeah. the little the little book can't do nothing, man. Little book that has no. <laughs> yeah, because, you can really see all those details in there. It's, like Sarah was saying, you can see all the details in her grandfather's stuff. But the it's next, like, if, it's like, when it's I, the yeah, when I do a spotlight on him, uh, when I do a spotlight, I'm probably gonna involve Sarah when I do spotlights on because I can do way, a lot of content with this book itself by itself. Yeah. There's a lot of artists in here. Totally. And uh, I think this book, as I see it now, it's the closest thing to having the actual paintings at home. Yeah. That's the main reason I really got it. The, the What's very interesting, yeah, what is very interesting, what I've seen recently, uh, because I went through the covers of some German heavy yeah. metal magazine, which was published here under Schwermetall, yeah. uh, that they have uh, also a lot of Frazetta paintings that were used in the US on other magazines. Right. And then this is uh this is uh Sarah's favorite. Oh yeah the yeah. Molly Hatchet one, yeah. This the yeah, yeah. Thor one, Thor. Yeah. The yeah that's the main reason. She one of her favorites was Thor oh, I mean it's one of her favorites. She has many. That's what she says. Last yeah, time you remember uh, it's, it's tough to have uh, only one favorite because Yeah. It's so beautiful. <clears throat> Reminds me, I have to order some back issues of the German Schwermetall because yeah. it's also way bigger than the US magazine size. Which yeah. is the only issue is I don't have comic bags <laughs> uh, <laughs> those sizes. But of yeah. course, when you look at the art, it's just beautiful. Yeah. Like I have the Vegas Girls of Reset on a Schwermetall book yeah. here, and it's just awesome. Yeah, Mastodon in the chat uh, just wrote he was planning on visiting the museum. Oh, like, that's cool. If you visit the museum, please please pick me up on the way. Yeah. You just have to do a small detour. <laughs> yeah. Museum, uh, yeah, yeah. Both museums are good, man. There's uh, there's one out in uh, out in Florida too. <clears throat> so. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, Battlestar Galactica. Yep. That people, was my screensaver for a very long time, that picture. Pe yeah, people forget that sometimes too, that he yeah. did that. A lot of people forget that though, that he did that. Yeah, I know Robert, uh, White Gloves, and all those guys are, are throwing a fit right now that I'm, uh, I don't got, <laughs> like I said, <laughs> don't got gloves on. Conan, I, th I believe. Yeah, it's, oh no, actually it doesn't say Conan, it just said Barbarian. Oh no, 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 yeah, 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 never mind, it does say Conan, see? Oh, 
Ja. Yeah. Ja, ja. Yep. <laughs> Woman was safe. That's all this is. And I know also from a cover from. Uh, from yeah, Vampirella. Vampirella. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, you can see it a little bit. It's blur. It's blurry, but yeah, you can see a little bit. <laughs> Robert's favorite type of cover. Oh, snakes. Yeah. Not just snake, it's a ten. it almost looks like a tentacle. <laughs> it's snakeical. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, isn't isn't that just a beautiful sound? Uh, yeah. Paper page turning. Like, yeah. like a high quality paper page. Yeah. This is what quality paper is supposed to sound yeah. like. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I saw this one uh, in the, in the print form earlier this week. Ooh. Yeah, where where she put it in a frame and everything. Where where it comes in a frame and everything, it's worth it. I want to see the movie behind that drawing. Yeah, hold on. Let me see if it. Yeah, the face clears up, and then let's see if it. Yeah, there we go. A little better. Yeah. That's that's a beauty. Yeah, the Mothman. There's a lot of a lot of artists, not just for Zeta in here. Fantastic quality, and uh, Taschen usually has a great quality. Yep. I think I think it's a German company, Taschen. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, Tasche means uh, just uh, what is Taschen again? It's a bag. <laughs> because uh, in German, uh, uh, like a a paper bag is yeah. Taschenbuch. Ah, uh, okay. See, that sounds that sounds better than paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Death dealer. Because a fashion book is basically a book a size that fits in yeah. your pocket. Yeah, well, this don't fit in my pocket. Like you have to have a big pocket, but, but yeah. that's where the company probably got its name from. Oh, another another. Uh, uh, mm. That I have on the uh, on the image uh, cover from the comic. Yeah. But it's another one. It's another, uh, for, uh, another uh, Robert cover because look. Uh, and you <laughs> yeah, know these for a set of booties are just like. Oh, yeah. I just wanna bite into those. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> that one one good thing is when you know you're going to the next artist, they use construction paper. Ooh, you also have Giga in it. Yeah. H. R. Geiger. A lot of people yeah. are in it. A lot of artists are in here. Yeah, uh, Geiger's in here. Hans Rudy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. if I can sell somebody on getting it, uh, it's actually on the link. It's actually on the link below. Yeah. So if uh, anybody wants. My goals is uh, as soon as travel is back on, I want to go to Switzerland uh, to the yeah. city. Switzerland, yeah. luckily, is our neighbor country. Yeah. But I had it planned this year. <laughs> but, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. But with the pandemic, there's, there's no traveling yeah. going on. Yeah, it's not worth it uh, getting something. And uh, Giga's art is just mesmerizing. Uh, it's it's mesmerizing, but it looks like he. It looks like he uh, instead of putting the butt on the, on the on the behind, he put the butt on the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a lot of things. Uh, I'm probably gonna show it also in this book. Uh, mm -hmm. Is uh, that he? Um, and he used like uh, mechanical things, like also pictures as reference, and yep, then uh, like that. here, like with uh, Debbie uh, Harry, uh, what's it? What's the name again? The pops, pop star, I think. Pop yeah. Star, yeah, Debbie something. De yeah. And uh, there's this hey, one uh, thing he did from a factory in Switzerland, where he mm -hmm. took a photo of a of a slot and made a vagina out of it. Yeah. Uh, this is from his Necronomicon, uh, the Baphomet. Yeah, it, it says that right there, and then uh, his other one. Yeah. He would have also designed uh, the Harkonnen stuff for the first Dune movie, for the Chadorovsky Dune, which yeah. uh, never saw the the, uh, the light of day, sadly. Uh, but I, I have seen his Harkonnen chair. I would have seen this alien uh, mm. when he... When, um, when there was a European like a traveling ex exhibition, and luckily that also came uh, close to my town back in the day. 
Yeah. So I was I was lucky to see a lot of the geek art in person. Yeah, the the face hugger. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the overmorph with the face hugger in there. Yeah. And uh, when you see the early designs in these books, uh, most of the stuff is even more explicit than it uh, became later in the movies. Yep. Yeah, that's actually a body. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's Geiger himself, I think. Yeah. Uh, Giga was such a phenomenal artist. Yeah. And it's it's really sad that uh, all these fantastic artists mm -hmm. are mostly gone by these days. I mean, we still have some greats, like yeah. Hildenbrand, like uh, Vallejo is still alive. Uh, yeah. But of Saint, course... St. Julian's, Julian's still alive, too. Yeah. St. Julian's still alive. And this is also why I'm trying now to get a lot of the covers of these fantastic artists. Mm -hmm. Because uh, it's, it's, it's sad, but they only have a few, uh, a few years oh, left. I, I never noticed this one. I just noticed this. Yeah. Their legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Giga's Necronomicon is yeah. mesmerizing. Yeah. That's why Robert likes him so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all of his uh, alien art. Let's hope we don't get kicked for showing alien art. <laughs> <laughs> I have some of this stuff hanging uh, a poster on the wall, which yeah. I've ordered from the Giga Museum. That's cool. Ooh. Oh, look. The... Yeah, the, it's, uh, it's the, the space jockey, which yeah. uh, later became Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. I think this was one of the, oh, maybe Jeff got kicked off now because of the uh, stuff. But the space truck, I think, was one of the most fantastic scenes in the first Alien movie. I mean, the first Alien movie is a fantastic masterpiece. But uh, just seeing the space truck in there and the implication that uh, the universe is so much bigger than what the movie shows. I was just talking a little bit about the space truck. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, I didn't get kicked because of my, my uh, USB cable for this. Ah. <laughs> uh, because I just said that one thing about the space shock in the first movie was that it implied yeah. that it was big and there was so much mystery right. in there. So I absolutely love Prometheus. I think Prometheus have, right. has, could have been an even better movie if they would have used all the scenes that are cut out. When you have Prometheus at home on Blu-ray, watch the deleted scenes. Yeah. The deleted scene would make it a fantastic movie. Because it, 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 those explain or correct all the weird stuff that was going on. It was unexplained or very badly right. explained. But what I really liked about the first Alien movie, yeah, besides the awesome horror aspects of it, is that uh, the space jockey scene... Uh, that you had this mysterium going on. So there's so much out there we still have to discover. Yeah. Hold on. Let me see if I can uh, get it to work again. Yeah. And there if you, you want to watch, uh, like where uh, Dan O'Bannon, the, uh, the screenwriter of Alien, got those ideas from for the first Alien movie, and some ideas that were used later in Prometheus too, uh, after Dan O'Bannon's death, uh, sadly. Yeah, so you gotta watch the old Mario Bava movie, Planet of the Vampires. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a masterpiece, especially with the color and, and all the stuff. Mario Bava, probably the best director that has ever lived. And and though, and uh, when you watch the movie, you can see where uh, Dan O'Bannon took a lot of inspiration from it. Yeah, that's more of the Geiger stuff. Yes, uh, that's so beautiful. And uh, Prometheus uh, also actually used, I think, a lot of the uh, early Geiger things. Mm -hmm. uh, Giger things, I guess. Uh, Giger. Geiger, Giger. It's, it's a German name, it's Giger. Uh, Giger, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the rubber goes Geiger <laughs> all the time. It's, it's, not a, it's not always easy for Americans or English yeah. to pronounce uh, some German right. names. Right. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes when my toy tonic tongue uh, grows goes crazy, it also yeah. changes the sound of some English words. 
Another artist. Oh, yeah, I didn't show you this one, VV. Look. Ooh. It shows you the information on the on the piece of art. That's very interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's Hildenbrand, I think, or? Yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Hildenbrand. Yep. Yeah. Also German name, Hildenbrand. Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love the action the, 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 the dynamite. Yeah. I think I can I hear can myself hear now. Myself. Your, uh, uh, yeah, I know. I unplugged it. So, because I kept getting caught. <laughs> I kept getting caught. That's why I'm like, ah, now you can't hear me. Yeah, this this is the picture, the, mm -hmm. the Star Wars poster that he did. Yep. That he's now doing a homage. Like he homages Red himself with Red Sonia. Yeah. And Red Sonia cover looks even better than that one. Yeah, because Skywalker is a bloody bitch, and it is better to have Red Sonia on it than uh, Luke Skywalker. Jeff is out again. Yeah, Luke Skywalker and the Rebels. I mean, the Rebels are basically just space terrorists. Let's face it. And the Empire did nothing wrong, and they are bringing order, peace, and prosperity to the whole galaxy. So basically, uh, what we see in George Lucas movies. Is this uh, is from the uh, side of the evil people because the empire actually they want to try to protect the uh, whole galaxy, especially with the hindsight uh, that the using one will attack the galaxy. Right. And this was actually this was actually the reason in the at least in the um, in the uh, in the expanded universe back then that the I wouldn't call it Death Star because Death Star is the awful name that the space terrorists gave this. But it's actually the, the awesome battle station was actually built to protect the, the inner core of the galaxy against the using one. Robert's here. Yeah. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert, if you want to hop in, I sent you an invite. So if you want to hop in. I just uh, told the people that Rebels come is evil and that the Empire is the yeah, the Empire the, are the good guys. Yeah, I didn't know he did the Lord of the Rings either. Did yeah, he did a lot of work uh, on the Lord of the Rings uh, and okay. and also when they did the Lord of the Rings movies, which are okay. phenomenal and now are coming out finally on 4K. I've seen the 4K trailers and look amazing. And uh, when they did the movie, they brought in a lot of the old uh, artists that worked uh, uh, on a lot of the rings, uh, Hobbit, uh, and other Tolkien's books, uh, the graphics. They brought them in for, uh, to create uh, the Middle Earth in the movies. And this is why Middle Earth in the movies looks so awesome, because uh, Peter Jackson listened to all the old artists that uh, illustrated the uh, Tolkien's world for us. And uh, so it, it was the best kind of fan service. Uh, uh, Robert. Uh, Robert wants to see the Grampus sweater again. Oh, sweater again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Krampus Day in Austria. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> He has some beautiful art, man. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of these guys I didn't know about, and now, now I see them. Now I want a lot of their covers, think, a lot of their art. Hildenbrand, Hildenbrand is fantastic at uh, doing poses. Yeah. If you see his Daredevil cover where he fights Kingpin, mm -hmm. it's in motion and it looks not good. All right. But he's re he did recently a tour cover. That was also the variant I picked up for the. I think it was for issue nine of Tor. He did a variant right. cover, and I think I have it here because I of I think I have not uh, put in my colleagues now for a while. <laughs> Either possibly... you're not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's only Well, let's see how long we can show this without the cord going out again. <laughs> uh, 
They're the brand's movie posters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie posters are beautiful. Yeah. That's what he's known for anyway, really. That's what I know him for, is the oh. movie posters. They are really clean. Mm -hmm. well, I have so many stacks of comics lying around here. But I think that's the problem we all have. Yeah, Miss G loves the sweater. Oh, it's still here. I knew uh, I haven't put them in the marble box yet. Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, oh, I see. I like that. That's uh, yeah. But when when he does it, in, like you said, when he does it in motion, it's, it's a little weird. Yes. But this is a beautiful cover, especially his use of color is fantastic. And I also really liked uh, that this was just a, a, a variant for cover price and yeah. not an expensive one. It, and also, like, uh, I have sometimes a problem with his scratches because it looks like there's nothing going on in there. <laughs> hey, if you didn't bring it up, I, would, I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's just painted art, and I want painted art on my comic books. This yeah. is why I will always buy variant cover when there's a painted art on it, especially by the grades. Mm hmm And he's also over 80 years old now. Yeah, a lot of them are. A lot have of the you, greats are. Have you watched his video uh, that he did on the Kickstarter campaign where he shows how he painted the Red Sonia? Uh, I have not watched it yet. Uh, I was getting around to it today. Watch it. Uh, I, I, yeah. And also I must say, uh, I know Dynamite is doing a lot of campaigns right now. <laughs> yeah, a lot of damn Kickstarters. Days. But the price uh, for the Hidden Brand cover is so fair. If you, uh, you're basically getting all books for $50, which is not expensive for uh, exclusive art. <laughs> you said it in a night fever tour. <laughs> That's a good one, Robert. Yeah. Welcome back, Jeff. Yeah, I'm just going to use this one. I'm just going to. Well, we're just gonna talk now. Every time I use the damn thing that goes showing something, it, ki it kicks me. So it's uh, the art is too great, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic. But it's 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 a beautiful book, man. It's it's worth the, it's worth the money. If yeah. if you're uh, if you're an old school, old, if you love the old school artists, yeah, it's worth the money. But I think it's probably more artists that are famous for their paintings. So Frank Fawn is probably not in there. Yeah, but is Frank it's a uh, is Frank Brunner in there? Hold on, I'll find out. I'll, I'll look at the. I'll look at. Yeah, that's, our... that's my trifecta of Franks: Frasetta, Fawn, and Brunner. Mm -hmm. Uh, doesn't look like it. H. <laughs> R. Geiger. Yeah, because I'm looking at the the uh, what the hell did when it tells you the page numbers? I forget. The, the, the index. That, yeah, yeah, the index. I don't see, I don't see a lot of Franks. I only see one Frank, and you already know the Frank. <laughs> yeah. Well, they need also some for the sequel. Yeah. You bought, then, uh, have you have you also Boris Vallejo in it? Boris Vallejo, 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 Vallejo. Yeah, like you say, it might be for the bone. It might be for the next one. Yeah. So because they put they put Saint Julian in here. Saint Julian's in here. Oh, wow. Saint Julian's in here. Julie is, Bell. Is yeah. Gonzalez in there? Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Nope. But then, uh, we're Jim, get, then we're gonna get a sequel because there's enough names for a fantastic sequel. Yeah, you. Hey, we sequel need, you know. Yeah, that's. But the Saint Julian. There's a uh, Jeff. Uh, Jeff Johnson. Jeff. Uh, yeah, the the famous Vampirella cover that he did. St. Julian's mm -hmm. super famous for a bunch of them. St. Julian is on page 300, yeah, 388. And as we all know, uh, St. Julian did one of my most favorite Conan covers. Yeah. 
388. Which was a, a wide way for me until until uh, Jim Boatrider and Magic Lasso tracked some down. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and they, even uh, even Steve they actually tracked it down and yeah. got it for you. And Steve got yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It was one of the happiest days in my life because I was yeah. hunting that book for years. It was really it was like a ghost. I was so happy when I got uh, the Spanish uh, hardcover edition that they printed uh, that cover on, but I still wanted to have the Dark Horse original. Yeah, well, what I'm jealous of is the Vampirella one you got, the French, uh, the French edition. I got the Italian one here, yeah? Yeah, Italian edition, yeah. That's the one I'm jealous of. Right me su colo, ti prego. Bite yeah. me in the neck, uh, please. <laughs> <laughs> you almost said, bite me in the neck, please, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Le Aventure di Vampirella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, Z Collects is in the chat. Yeah, Ray said hello to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, also showed me a... Eddie yeah. Adam Hughes one, the Italian version oh, yeah, of yeah, yeah. the Harry's run, Vampirella. Yeah. Yep. Guerra that, yeah. 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 And I with Jim Bailey, that what a lot of people forget. Yeah. Uh, Jim Balin actually worked on Vampirella too. Yeah, and he did the insights. Uh, he yes. did a lot of insights too. And it looks fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm still waiting for the Tarot Kickstarter. It's oh, in oh. customs since 23 days now. Yeah. Monday I'm, I will call I'm, customs. <laughs> I was trying now. to call them yesterday, but uh, they in Austria, Friday 12, uh, like at, at, at noon, everybody yeah. stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm I'm waiting on mine too. I'm waiting on my uh, my Kickstarter from them too because I I added on the T-shirt, so they have to go make the T-shirts and send it to me. I also have a T-shirt. Yeah, so I, that's why. I, yeah, I, but I added it on after the campaign ended, so they have to add oh, it on. Okay, yeah, uh... yeah. Well, I well I did I added on when you know when they send you the email to tell you. Oh yeah, when you can add it with the after yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's uh, when you imagine that uh, all this stuff is done by Holly, while Jim works, of course, on the comics. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, Holly is she's not just such a nice person, yeah. but also when it comes Hard to the she's so organized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's like what uh, is uh, what one wouldn't assume when you what? talk with her because it's just like a free spirit. Yeah. But when me and like, you, when me and you get because. There's two Kickstarters that we got coming from them. There's the Kickstarter yeah. and then the Indiegogo. When we both get those two, we should have them back on again. Yes, I already, I already told uh, Holly. And um, yeah, yeah the, I think there was a delay uh, with the printers for the Dynamite. Yeah, 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 yeah. I looked at it. I looked at it yesterday. I'm like, damn, it hasn't. Uh, I haven't got no updates from them yet. Yeah. yeah so. But uh, the Dynamite is is uh, it has a very good service. The moment they're sending it out, they're sent they're emailing you the tracking code and everything. Well, I'm still I'm still mad at the uh, because there's a Ingridge there's an Ingridge art book that was supposed to come out, but because a pandemic happened, yeah, it, it it stopped it and it now. But supposedly it's at the printers now. So mm. I can't wait to get. I can't wait until I get email from them and they say, "Hey, it's on. Uh, we're sending it to you." But yeah, it's uh, it's with crowdfunding. Yeah, it's so. always a wait. Uh, it's uh, I'm also yeah, also just like I said in the other stream, I got the uh, the Alex Ross metal cover from Emperella because it's just too hot. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And basically, when you want to track down the original book, it's you gotta have to pay the same price, and it's a fucking yeah. mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's so funny when you look at the uh, Indiegogo for that campaign. Yeah. Everybody got the Alex Ross cover, and nobody got the art term. No. Nobody got the Jason Scott Campbell. <laughs> no. Yeah, but if you're gonna have, my thing is, if you're gonna have Alex Ross. Uh, and it's the book where she emerges out of the blood and is naked. So it's it's yeah. like that cover. Yeah, yeah. If you're gonna have all of them, man, it's like, why are you gonna have them compete? You know. Which I have in a small version here. Oh no, it's another one. It's it's where you see the back, not the front one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have that one. 
It's no, no, good. I don't got that. Yeah, yeah, I need that one. That's the one I need. <laughs> yeah, that's how uh, I'll get another one of this uh, with my next order. Yeah. Because somehow my comic book store still has a bunch of them for cover price. Right. One every month. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I will send you one. But that's of course, cool. the virgin one stays with me. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. As long as I got one, I'm happy. So I finally got to the St. Julian page, and let's uh, hope it doesn't. Uh... You're not on the show, Chef. Yeah. The St. Julian art. Yeah. You have to put yourself on screen, Chef. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My <laughs> bad. I forget sometimes. Yeah, there you go. I know I also like to look at myself, but. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that famous one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm also slowly trying to complete the uh, German uh, Empire run. Yeah, one of my favorite covers. One of my favorite of his. Yeah. And this is yes. the original because in the comic it doesn't. It's on the opposite side. Mm. It's a, it, It's on the complete opposite. Everything's on the complete opposite because the witch is on this side. And the, the skull is on the other side. So yeah, so this is our complete opposite. And Conan. Yeah. Dude, his art is amazing too. Yeah, really? it's, it's really, it's, it's like once these masters are all, all gone, yeah. the world will be a very boring place. Yeah. Uh, like... <laughs> Because I rarely see this art of uh, of great uh, of great talent, like or like this more like this sense of aesthetics. Yeah. I don't see a lot them a lot uh, in modern art. This uh, uh, this Vampirella cover by Saint Julian with the uh, with that one, yes, that's printed on a German schwer metal mag on a German heavy metal magazine. Yeah, and then it's uh, it's twenty three and ninety nine. So issue 99 yeah. and 23 in the English versions are both there's the same cover. It's also on the German Vampirella title. So this this was actually used a lot here and I totally understand why. Yeah. And then another one. I mean, you see these covers, you don't mm. even know, like you have never seen Vampirella in your life before. And you mm -hmm. see these covers. This is like what invites you to buy mm -hmm. this, to read it. Right. And uh, this is a sense of wonder and a sense of uh, mm -hmm. aesthetics that we have to get back in coming. I'm guessing this is Conan, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it. I mean, uh, Lucio Perillo is very close to the yeah. great one. Yeah. Um, he has the capability of being there. The only f I haven't watched the interview with him, but what would interest me is... Uh, uh, is San Julian himself a fan of sword and sorcery? Mm. Because you you rarely hear uh, him talking about the stuff. I like that one. Now I need to figure out where to get it. <laughs> is it a cover or is it a painting? It's really nice. And what yeah, I also he, he, has, he has prints too. This uh, St. Julian has prints. I mean, a lot of the artists also have original art that is mm. sold on YouTube and on their home pages. Right. But going back to Lucio Perillo, uh, you know, I absolutely love Perillo. Yeah, me too. The only thing I wish uh, is a little bit more diversity uh, on his covers, covers which uh, which should resonate in uh, you know different poses. And uh, most of the covers just look the same right now. Are you still here, Jeff? Here. Yeah, welcome back. Yeah. That, uh, that, was, that, that, that art was too hot for them. <laughs> yeah. And what I was just saying uh, was that uh, I, I wanted Peru to have more diverse covers, like with different settings, like Vampirella on the throne, Vampirella in another setting. But his yeah. backgrounds always look the same. Give me a second. I'll, I'll show. I'll, I'll, I got to compare it. Yeah. So of course I don't wanna like I don't wanna shit on great artists because I'm still buying almost every Perillo cover. I just think he has more in him. Perillo art book compared to that art book. Yeah. Hot, being honest, quality wise, hot trash. <laughs> yeah. 
It's uh, you know I love Dynamite. Uh, Dynamite is is the publisher I'm buying most book of books yeah, of. Yeah, me uh, too. But yeah, but they uh, could have they could have done a lot. They could have done yeah. a lot better with this. But it's also when we talk about uh, books on our channels, we are brutally honest. Yeah. Also with the publishers that we love. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so oh, funny, yeah. you know, sometimes when, yeah. I, like when I trash a uh, Red Sonia story like I did with The Birth of the She-Devil, which was yeah. a really boring story. It was either the Red Sonia channel like apology. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, I also we don't, have, we don't have to apologize. We're big fans. And then if we don't yeah, like something, yeah. Yeah, and I, like as, something, as we're also when I, when I criticize, like when I like a book, I brace it. I yeah. praise it and praise it and praise it. I know but Robert's I keep... been looking at this, and I know you guys have been, uh, yeah. From, uh, I, really hope, I really hope I'm getting the same one. <laughs> yeah, so, because Sarah sent this one, and it's, uh... oh, actually, let's see if the other camera works again. But I don't want to do, do it, undo it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's. Because if you don't send that one, I think I might have to order that one. Yeah, well, this, it came out in 2018, so you, it, it, you, might have Ooh, to mess, yeah. you, you might have to direct message her for this one. Yeah. Oh, but Conan stickers for sure. Uh, the, the only problem is with the Conan stickers, I don't know if I could. Mm -hmm. They probably would go also like into, uh, into a collector's thing and never be sticked on something. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's still in the bag. That's why I haven't opened it. <laughs> But I want to get the uh, other, there's another set of stickers that I want that of of his uh, women, of all his yeah I want yeah, to get that those are beautiful, and then the calendar, yeah, but the I also don't want to put it on the laptop or something because the laptop is something you will replace after a few years and yeah, <laughs> yeah then uh, the calendar comes in a nice package too so that's cool yeah. yeah that's one thing to look forward to 2021 yeah is. Having Frazetta art every day. <laughs> yeah. So the first one that they used, the funny thing was the first picture they used is the same one they used for this one. Mm -hmm. Must be, yeah. Well, it's it's a good way to start January with a trip to Mars. Yeah. Like Arnold said already, get your, get your ass to Mars. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so yeah. The, it's... Like the art book, uh, comparing art books, uh, or is it Frank Cho's art book and this one mm -hmm. are probably the similar, but but Frank Cho's is a little cheaper, but the Frank Cho art book is is almost similar size or a little smaller, but it's still worth way worth mo money. Wise, it's a, it's it's a thing. It's like I never got into Frank Cho's art so much. Yeah, but but if you look at Frank Cho, Frank Cho uses. Some of them as, as references. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, when he did the Kickstarter for Red Sonia, that cover, yeah. there's nothing special about this cover. Right. But his other art, that's the main reason. I like his, the Ballpoint Beauty book. That's the one you need to get. The Ballpoint Beauty one is the one you need to get. It's on the other side of the room. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll put you on screen. You can talk have, the whole time. Have you got the Elvira Kickstarter? Or have, have you? Nope. I have it. I, I, I say I was saving up for the, the hack and slash Kickstarter. I got the um, hack and slash. And it was uh, interesting. Yeah. I, like, my, my girlfriend is a big Elvira fan, so I got her to sign uh, the comic as a present for Christmas. I mean, she will get it later because it will take some time until it arrives right, here. Right. Good. But, that campaign was over 100,000, I mean, 120 to 50,000 or something. And okay. so many, uh, so many free trading cards, free stickers, free buttons. Right. right. Also, with the Red Sony Hilton brand already, we unlocked uh, the trading card for free. Yeah. I I, yeah, like all, all of those things unlocked a lot of stuff. Like, uh, what was it? The Omnibus were the here. Hack and slash omnibus unlocked a lot of stuff too. Yeah, like credit cards, not... face mask, uh, pins, uh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the only thing I don't like is when uh, Dynamite does like the first stretch goals to be digital comics. <laughs> Man, 
don't get me started on that one, man. Ew. Yeah. Those are usually just gift to somebody. Yeah. Hey, Monty is in the chat. Hey, hey White Glow, Mr. White Nobody Glow. has glass here. <laughs> yeah. I'll put it away later. <laughs> I'll put it away back in the box later. Yeah, I'm problem. looking forward uh, in a few days. Uh, finally, the new vinyl of I think Eternal Champion should come out here, oh, and cool. the cover is by Ken Kelly. Oh yeah, yeah. I like I like the Ken, I like Ken Kelly stuff too. Yeah. And of course, I absolutely am a big Man of War fan. So Ken Kelly is uh, is is also one of my choice of artists. It was so funny that Sarah Frazetta shared something in her story, and I went to the picture on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, with the uh, you know with the spray painted vans, yeah, yeah, and yeah. someone in the comics wrote, and in the comments wrote that uh, uh, oh is this is this the guy who did the manual covers? It's like no, but the guy who did the manual covers learned by that guy how to do the manual yeah. covers. Yeah, yeah. It was funny because a lot of people get, get them uh, get him and because Frizetta and him they taught each other, so it's like mm -hmm. yeah, so it's because. But the fa uh, the famous one is that issue four or no issue six that Ken Kelly did, and then he the first thing was he didn't take it to he didn't take it to James Warren he took it to freaking Frank Frazetta first and Frank goes I hate your damn face on that damn girl I'm gonna redo your face so whenever you get it graded whenever you get that book graded it says <laughs> it says uh, Ken Kelly art Frank Frazetta face yeah. It's a, it's a, it's it happens a lot of times. It's also with uh, do, 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 do I have that one here? Like with this one, I forgot who the artist is. Uh, with uh, with oh, this yeah, one, yeah, yeah, yeah. where the art uh, Gonzalez uh, Gonzalez just drew Vampirella, right? And another artist drew everything around. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's the, a there's there's a couple of those covers where. Yeah. Uh, Saint uh, Saint Jose, what was it? Saint Julian got credited, but it wasn't Saint Julian. Yeah. And it was uh, it was a uh, completely different artist. Yeah. Of course, for the publisher, it's way cheaper that way because they can sell this as a Gonzalez and Julian etc. cover because he did the inks, uh, right. and for them it's just cheaper if they buy the inks uh, from an artist for one character and then take another character to draw the things around them. Uh, I think it's most visible today in uh, Che Lee's art. That uh, you know when you look at the uh, Dune comics from Boom Studios, which right. I think is some of Che Lee's mm -hmm. best work recently. And uh, compare it with his Red Sonia covers. And his Red Sonia covers uh, lack so much detail, probably because Dynamite is only paying him for a quick sketch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, pretty so much, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh... Sarah sent us a care package. Your care package is still in uh, U.S. Customs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're waiting on that. And then I ordered some drink. I ordered some drinking glasses, so I'm waiting on that to come. Uh, it should be shipping probably next week sometime. So I'll probably get it. The funny thing was, I got the. She sent the package off the same day the, uh, these guys sent it off. The the big mm -hmm. book, the 19 pound book. But I got that one on, fr on Friday the week before, and then I got uh, Sarah's thing on Monday, and that's local. Um, that's I local hear very mail. often now from friends in the U.S. that they get international pack uh, shipping before they get uh, sh U.S. Yeah. shipping. It's yeah, great. it's so funny because I'm like, it, how the hell did I get the fret, the fret, the Italian book first, and then? Sarah said that from <laughs> locally, and I, I didn't get it at all. It, de it depends on so many, uh, so many factors. It's, when I send something to the US, it could be there in one and a half weeks, mm -hmm. technically. Mm -hmm. uh, but also, it could be one month at custom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It won't. It won't. I, I, I don't think it because they're gonna look in there and go, oh, it's damn calendar. It's it's the they they X-ray it. They probably send it on. Yeah. Or hold it on, or hold it on purpose. 
Yeah, but usually I'm always very thorough with when I declare something. But it's it just really matters, you know, which person has this, has like a, like a staple of uh, of packages there. It's like ah, that's for next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it's uh, I mean, honestly, it's Sarah. For, you know what I mean? Sarah, like I said, I'm gonna invite her back on and talk about her grandfather. Like if I, do, you know, there's pl plenty of uh, you know, plenty of. Uh, on this book so i can actually talk about our grandfather and we can actually you know have something to do <laughs> i think I've, i totally think that you should make uh also uh maybe a series with uh pre-recorded videos on your channel where you talk about uh the interpretation of vampirella by one artist like Vampirella by Fraseda, Vampirella by Gonzalez, Vampirella by San Julian, Vampirella by Alex Ross. <laughs> Is this a strap on? <laughs> Biggie's in the chat. Yo, Yo Biggie. Yeah, I'm also currently yeah. preparing an AOK for Biggie, waiting yeah. on some books. <laughs> and last yeah. week's uh, last week I sent out an AOK to Man Cave. Oh, that's cool. So I he gets uh, gonna be, uh, so he gets yeah, some yeah, German Hitler covers. <laughs> yeah, man, Man Cave's gonna be excited for that. Yeah, I got him some Captain Berlin, which is oh, a homage cool. to the first Captain America, where Captain Berlin punches Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, look, I think you got something to say, I think. Banger. Yeah. Matt Robert laughing. Yeah. Yeah, Piggy is currently a big campaign to get more subs for Comic Tom. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Comic Tom needs it. I think uh Biggie needs it more than Comic Tom, right? Yeah, we really like uh we really have to get Biggie to one thousand because he really yeah. deserves it. Yeah, he does deserve it. Yeah, like I mean, we deserve it too. So also sub us up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we deserve it too. But <laughs> everybody deserves it. <laughs> yeah, because we all make different content. You know what I mean? We all make the me and you make a uh, sword and sorcery, uh, pretty girls, <laughs> <laughs> naked women. <laughs> yeah, we don't really care. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Because uh, Tom's helping them sub push. We all help you, so we all help you sub push, man. You deserve a th at least one thousand. Yeah, it's a. There, there is no such thing as a boring Biggie stream. It's nope. Biggie putting his heart and soul in his videos, yep. and he's he's larger than life person, and it's so. Yeah much fun to watch him yeah, it's, uh, not in a silly way yeah, whenever he does it it's a fantastic infectious. person with a great sense of humor yeah i think about i should do a giveaway for making a push to 500 i think i have no i don't even know how many <laughs> But I also think that your channel is criminally undersubbed, Jeff. Yeah, undersubbed. Yeah, because yeah. your Sunday show is fantastic. Yeah, we talk about it, everything and anything. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah and also the Wednesday show, like the uh, it's the recent comic pulls. I mean, it's 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 basically very often the same that what I get. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, cause, yeah, teaching people Cantonese. That's the whole thing. It's a, uh, and then yeah. uh, even. Even Simon started it. Even Simon tried to teach uh, space, uh, what was it, space buns, how to say <laughs> certain words. But it was funny because he says, says uh, how are, what was it, uh, they, uh, the two words means one is to help and one is to just say if, when you get a gift. So those are the two because it was funny because he go, oh, yeah, Jeff is going to explain it. That's, 
Well, I'm gonna explain it in the King Thieves comics coming up this week since he uh, since he said something nice. in the video. Yeah. yeah, you have two fantastic shows there that are really like a pillar of yeah. your channel, and yeah. uh, and alone for that you deserve way more subs. Yeah, I try I try to do it every week, and then I try, whenever I get something cool like a like an art book or something, I try to do unboxings and stuff like that. Because it would have been cool to have Sarah, you know, but it's it's cool to have you two. <laughs> I'm the I'm the well, second I'm the second place prize in this. <laughs> yeah, no oh man, uh, it's it would have been cool just to have you, her, you, me, you, and her again, just to you know talking. Yeah. But uh, Robert really wants her on uh, the late night show, but I don't think she would. I don't think I don't know if she would do it or not. But oh yeah, yeah. and the nerdy collective. It's also very funny. It's, it's yeah. always I have to watch the rewind because that's at seven o'clock my time. I'm, yeah, I'm a stay up late person, but I'm not a stay up person yeah. late seven a.m. guy. Yeah, that's two. <laughs> that's that's, that's the next morning already. Yeah, that's the next morning already. Yeah, that's already. You're, you're like, damn it! It's uh, it's the next morning. It's Monday. I can't stay up that late. <laughs> and right now that my only work is basing writing writing some articles, my sleeping pattern is not really tied to a normal human being's life. Yeah, nobody is. Mine isn't either. My I work nights. But finally museums are uh, opening again for next yeah. week. So hopefully Yeah. Hopefully so, so you guys can see me a little clearer. Yeah. Oh, let's see what he let's see what Biggie says. I only own three X Men. Yeah, for... Which are the uh, two X Men books with Cool and Garf in there. Yeah. Because it's Cool and Garf is my with Doctor Doom my favorite Marvel villain, and of course the one where Doctor Doom. Uh, uh, Rufy the storm. But I never was a fan of the X-Men. Yeah, I, I wasn't either. X of Swords or, well, I, I crossed out the Crossing of Swords and everybody got mad. <laughs> <laughs> it was a huge sausage fest. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, so we're going to have a pretty cool show tonight. So, so. Make sure to tune in to uh, the welcome to the uh, the what was it? Welcome to the Nerdy Collector Show. So that's a, I had to put that in the title. <laughs> it's cool. I, I liked it, but I, I now uh, I'll do better next week, uh, Robert. Uh, whatever, uh, just message me to today. See what you want for next week, so I can uh, look it up right away and do at least two to three. So they let you pick. Yeah, for me it's always when Sunday I eat a cook or order food and then I watch the uh, then I watch Rob's yeah. collective show in the rewind. Yeah. It's basically what? my getting up uh, meal time uh, show right. tour. Yeah. Since uh, I got the camera back up, I can show you guys the calendar a little more. Yeah. Yep. That is December. No, January. <laughs> Spread them, Chef. Spread them. <laughs> Spread them, pages. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show it off because it's on FrizettaGirls.com. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure she 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 sells out <laughs> like we always do. That's, uh, that's Chef's hand masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> but oh yeah, your favorite one. Oh yeah, Moon Maid. Moon Maiden. Then uh, on mine, I think it's a, uh, I think it's the lady. Uh, yeah, mine, yeah. Egyptian queen. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So if you guys want this calendar, it's actually on the link below. It's a uh, Frisetta girls. So. Yes, Biggie. Yeah. Frisetta hotness and Frisetta magic. Yeah. Hashtag Frisetta magic. Yeah. yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, mate. You just want to bury your face in it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of the old, yeah, one of my other favorites. 
I've always liked um, this one. It's it's so aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. I may order it as a print eventually. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then this was the cover. Mm -hmm. I just yeah. have to show it because uh, I want people to go actually get it. And this was a... Uh, what was it? Vamp I forgot which I issue, but it was a Vampirella cover too. I think seven? Vampirella. Oh. Seven, I think. Yeah. Or, or no, it's seven in German. I think it's... Uh, I, uh, I think it's... Oh, no, no, you're right. I think it is seven. But I think Ger Germany used a different cover. Oh, yeah, yeah, one of your favorites. Number one in Germany is also, I think, the Gonzalez cover of Leda. Yeah, 19. Oh. Yeah, you, you, yeah, the German number one, number one is, is the R9, number 19. The, the Frasetta one, the original number one is the German 11. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. And then uh, Lady was uh, Lady was Scythe. That's all it says on, uh, that's what this art piece is called. That's so funny too. I, I thought it had a longer name when I first originally saw it. Still works. Yeah, still works. Oh yeah, it says it says it on the bottom. It tells you the art piece, whatever the art piece was. Woman with sight. Yeah. Never trust a woman with a sight. Oh, wait a minute. The one you said uh, about the what the other cover, uh, this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the cool. Yeah, you were right. Yeah, it is the Ghoul Queen. Yep. Yeah. So I'm and guessing these are all the ones, uh, all the ones that Sarah and her mom, you know, own. You know, because don't yeah. forget, uh, Frisetta had a big. Uh... Yeah, it's also. Uh, I mean, I'm very happy that she has a great relation uh, with Dynamite and yeah. uh, also with Conan Properties and with Edgar Rice Bur Burroughs. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's the I biggest mean, girl. I have on the German, uh, yeah, uh, on the German schwer metal cover. That's cool. I've never seen this one, and this is the first time I've seen it. So that's cool. And I then, think even here, just have to. Then I can have move. Sarah sign it and draw something on the back. Look, <laughs> it's blank. Yeah. Or remark. Yeah, I should have had that uh, next uh, next uh, next year when I order a calendar, and I know it's uh, all like that. I'm gonna have her. <laughs> Remark in the bag. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, uh. So this is uh, a like on. U.S. magazine size compared with German magazine size. Oh, okay. Like, Oh, I've seen that one. Oh yeah, I see the difference. They're bigger. It doesn't fit in a. Hmm. But it's so it's uh beautiful. Yeah, it's yeah. I like that. That's nice. And the good thing you can pick this German ones up for cheap. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, and we're going on. Stories inside. Yeah. From European uh, artists. Well, we actually hit an hour. <laughs> that's a that's a surprise. <laughs> Just uh, me and you talking though. We hit an hour. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry, Robert. I got gloves. See, I got a <laughs> I got two bags. Don't worry, I got gloves. Yeah, but pretty much that's all I really picked up, man. That that book is beautiful, man. I like. There's no reviews on the book, so I may I may uh, do a video for a review since there's only reviews in French. So at least uh, mm -hmm. I can do it for the English market and the Cantonese market too. So I can do it for two markets. We all know that French is the worst language on the planet. Man, not only that, but they did they did one a ASMR video. <laughs> VV, they did a damn yeah. ASMR. The I, hope Nicholas, I hope Nicholas really, uh, Leroy is not watching. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did a, nothing against it, but they did like a freaking ASMR video with this book. With the book, with the guy did it like this. All you hear is him doing that to the box. I'm like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Sick people. Sick people. Yeah. Present, you want to have a friend? 
you want to have a French gun never used and only dropped once? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to call it. Yeah, it's a, it's been an hour. All right, guys. The, it was the Masterpieces of Fantasy Art Unboxing with the uh, Varangian Vigilante and Cantonese Comic Comic Kid. It was, it was supposed to be with Sarah, but Sarah had something to come up. That's oh, you cool. Got yeah, and we got BB and me. That's all you need, really. See you guys later. <laughs>